everybody's worried about the Pittsburgh quarterback situation. They might have the best one in the league. You don't have an experienced cool. guy coming behind uh, fields if you need him, but they're playing well as a team. I had a lot of people react to that this week. Is he, Bill check what's he saying there? Is the best quarterback situation in the league? Well, I'm gonna, I don't know if that's, that's the case or not because I like Josh Allen yeah. and Patrick Mahomes and <laughs> yeah. all those guys. But I get exactly where he's coming from. you got a Hall of Famer behind this yeah, guy. He's talking about and, the hole, uh, the depth. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. depth, yeah. a Hall of Famer behind him. By the way, this, this quarterback, I mean, I don't want to say it, but this might be go down as one of the greatest trades in the history of the National Football League. They got him for a six-round pick. You got a future franchise quarterback for a six-round pick. You're already willing to say that. You're already willing to say he is the future yeah. of the and, Steelers. And the stat you just showed, Grady, yeah. that, that was up there, and I thought I was the only one who knew it. Seven and two, his last nine starts. All right? Means that, look, when he came in the league, he was a better athlete than quarterback. Okay, we get it. So is Steve Young. Yeah. Okay? So are guys like that. It takes, you know, a, a little bit development right here. But this guy right here, I, I'm going to give you two things that I love about him. Number one, he's taking care of the football. Yes. All right? He's had the one interception which deflected off three people. All right? The other thing is, the, in today's NFL, mobility is a huge thing. And this guy can Very use important. his legs. And today? And yeah. yeah. 50 what? yards is the over-under on rushing today for Justin Fields. Over. 60 yards. Over. What about over. It? No matter what it is, no you're going over. No matter what it is, so he's wait, going we, over. You were just talking about the Toms. They used to say, let Russ cook. What do you say now? Well, the reason why I say let him cook is, it, what am I known for, Greeny? The deep part of the field. Well, Justin Fields in this offense is doing some phenomenal things. 50% completion on 20-plus yard throws. I'm not even talking about post and go balls. It could be a deep out, a deep dig. Man, getting George Pickens involved in this deep part of this field is must-see. And right there, he's just slinging the ball. This last week, being able to put the ball in the hole in tight fit. Man, sky's the limit for this offense led by Justin Fields. So, Alex, I have people saying to me the numbers are pedestrian on Justin Fields, which, in fairness, they are. What yeah. do you say to them? I mean, I, I think they're just – they're lazy. And they're wrong. They're not watching the film, right? And, and I think if you turn it on, listen, this, this Arthur Smith offense, he's not going to throw for 350 yards every single week. That's just not the way they're built. And that's not the way Mike Tomlin wants it. He is, this is such a perfect marriage for this entire team and how they think about winning football games. And then I've really seen progression from him. To your point, Rex, like this last week, standing in the pocket, it collapsing around him and him settling in there and delivering balls over the middle. This guy's completing nearly 75% of his passes. And you said it, Rex, right. one turnover. Like, this, this is a formula in Pittsburgh with this defense. Yes. They are going to yes. win a lot of football games. And, and, by the way, they're playing the worst rush defense in the NFL today in the Colts. Like, yeah. I, I think this game – I mean, it could get ugly. So, they, I mean, when Anthony Richardson has to end up throwing, can we? Can I finally get to some defense on the side? <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> because, Okay, Justin feels great, but it's really the story is, I mean, I love watching this Pittsburgh Steeler, Steeler defense play. The way they take the ball, like, I'm going to show you guys right here. Oh, okay. let's go. Let me, can let's I get the walk go. off? Let's go. Okay. Can I get the walk let's off? Go. Okay. All right. Because I'm telling you, these defensive backs, they love playing with this pass rush because it's like you're going to get chances to get interceptions. Cam Hayward, you'll see the pressure that Bo Nix has right here. He doesn't want to see this picture right here. Here he comes. That big old mitt coming right there. Throws it on his back foot right there. You might as well be fair uh, catching interceptions. You fair catching interceptions because these quarterbacks just want to get rid of them because of the pressure. Watts coming, okay? Highsmith's coming. Hayward's coming. Come on, Kurt. He doesn't want this. You don't want any of this. Every quarterback's watching this pressure and they're putting it up. Put it up. Bam. Fair catch. All right, I got this. There it is, okay? Fair catch and interception. They're bringing him back for an easy return and that's what we're talking about with the pitch Steelers taking the ball away, pass rush, causing bad throws. Okay, now you got Highsmith, that all is now not in the game anymore, but you got Herbig coming, Herbig coming in. Nate Her Nick Herbig, who has now has two sacks that he got last week. The pressure is just incredible. They, on they grow those edge rushers in Pittsburgh, don't they? <laughs> they, they breed them. them. They, they breed they them. Know what it looks like, they I, go get So, for anyone who was planning on making any, I don't know, fantasy decisions today or others of that sort, do you know how many starts Anthony Richardson has made? He has made 20 starts. Since high school, that includes college mm. and the NFL. That is a tough matchup against the Steelers defense. It is, and, and he's, we've seen such a big range of him and his ability, and he is so young and still developing. 
we're, we're going to need the, we're going to need the ceiling in this game, right? Against this defense, yeah. they bring it. They're so complex. I, I mean, again, it's a tall task. I think he has his hands full today. Mm. If you look at him play as a rookie right now, Alex, you consider he started over 50 games in college. What are we seeing in this young man? Oh, it's showing up. All that experience is really showing up in the NFL. I mean, he, I don't know if there's ever been a rookie more prepared to play right away than Jaden Daniels. I mean, listen, I think we all saw the highlights of his Heisman run there at LSU and the athleticism, and I think we've seen that the first couple of weeks. But to pair it so quickly, I mean, the guy's completing over 80% of his passes. I mean, that's insane. I mean, he's on a historic run. He doesn't have a turnover. His counterparts, his rookie counterparts, have nine turnovers this year. This guy is zero. They haven't punted in two weeks. So when you talk about, you know, combining that elite, I mean, and it is elite athleticism that he possesses, with this kind of composure, I mean, in the fourth quarter this year, of all games, he is 23 of 26 <laughs> in the fourth quarter. I mean, that is maturity, right? In the biggest moments we just saw under pressure, third downs, fourth downs, this guy's just unfazed by it. And, and again, I, I don't think we've ever seen anything like this. Yeah, you saw in the interview with SVP, I mean, he says his buddies are out telling him it's hard to win the NFL. I mean, mm. how, how can he believe that? <laughs> really, how can he? Because, Randy, he look, he's just floating out there, and I'm, I'm still waiting for a defense to rattle him, and it's just not happening. You know, Brew, you're talking about all the rookies in the National Fo Football League. Is there anyone playing better than this young man here? I can't find one. And the reason why I talk about can you find one is because I really, I really think the success that he can sustain in the National Football League or – the success that he has in the league is very sustainable. And the reason why I talk about is how he's uh, reaching the deep part of the passing game. You don't expect that out of a rookie. When you talk about him throwing the ball deep in the place he made last week on Monday Night Football, everybody talks about the Monday lights. They're shining as bright. Man, he comes out in his first performance on Monday night and put up there. But there's another reason why I'm excited about this game. Do y'all remember the air raid offense? Yeah. yeah. Who brought the air raid offense to the National Cliff Football Kingsbury. Cliff Kingsbury. That's his offensive coordinator. So you're talking about the excitement you hear in me he's pushing the ball downfield Kent, uh, Kingsbury said he's bringing the air raid offense it didn't work the first time in Arizona but he's going against his former team and he has a quarterback behind him so that's interesting because I'm picturing people at home right now Rex are getting set to make fantasy decisions daily fantasy decisions and other things it, it, when you consider the matchups today is Jaden Daniels going to have the biggest day of the two quarterbacks on the field no Kyler Murray is and that that quarterback that you know, he never had great success with Cliff Kingsbury or whatever. What's the success he has uh, today with him? Why? And because, number one, the team that he's playing against. And, by the way, this guy's still one of the best players yes. in the National Football League. And his mobility, look, Jane Daniels, superstar, whatever. Yeah, he's played three games. This kid right here, I'm telling you, is playing as well as anybody. And I get it. They got beat last week. But this he is an absolute beast and and especially in the system he's playing in so to me as much as Jaden Daniels I will say this the entire league's going to be trying to look for the next Jaden Daniels mm -hmm. yeah. all right there's a reason why a team tried to trade three first round picks to move up to get to Jaden Daniels this year the guy is fantastic but this guy Kyler Murray people sleep on him how the hell can you sleep on this guy I don't I think people forget how talented Kyler Murray is and watch out today Washington two, two things about today listen the, the Cliff Kingsbury noted I think it's a good one we got to tip our hat to him this is one of the most balanced offenses in the NFL when you talk about run game Cliff has evolved this isn't the same old air raid this Washington team is really dynamic in the run game and then the other thing today these two defenses are overmatched I mean oh. both these offenses <laughs> yeah. are Defense they have a ton matter. of firepower this is going to hey. be a high scoring game <laughs> high scoring game today sometimes players matter okay oh, yes. no I, I'll introduce you to a player he's, he's, the more the Cardinals win you watch this number 45 Dennis Gardeck play he does everything for them he rushes the passer he got an interception last week so two players against quarterbacks like like a Jaden Daniels a linebacker that can do a lot of things and get after it and have a lot of motor like Gardeck and then Buda Baker at safety Love Buda. they have to be impacted today well the total is 48 and a half which is the highest of any game on the board so to your point everyone is yes. projecting a high scoring game but it is the commander defense the Cardinals defense isn't going to remind anyone of the 85 Bears but the commander's defense is 30th in points allowed to Rex's point Kyler Murray could have a very good day against that team but Rex a lot of people are looking at the Bills right now and they're saying they're the best team in the NFL what do you say I think the Ravens are the best team in the NFL and I get it they're one in two you heard the stat about the worst pass defense in the league. I ain't buying it. You got a coordinator that's coaching out of a book. It's going to take him a little while 
to get caught up to speed. I'm just telling you, uh, the defense coordinator for the uh, the Ravens, uh, for the Ravens, Ravens yeah. uh, or I believe uh, Zach Orr. But yes. anyhow, yes. Uh, I mean, I'm so just why are they the best team? They're in the, the best team in the league because nobody can stop their run. Yeah. All right, and they figured it out. You got Derrick Henry, by the way. Uh, is he going to get dehydrated? Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> I told you he's going to get dehydrated against Dallas. <laughs> he's going to get dehydrated again today. I mean, I'm sorry, but this this team is so talented and so physical and and way ahead of it. Scheme wise, it's a brilliant scheme. We've seen some uh, shots about Alex. You had some stuff on it. I, I'm just telling you, it's almost impossible to defend. And this team, once that defense catches up, I think they could be the best team in the league. Yep. They I were got people, last year, too, I got by people the way. getting ready to make fantasy decisions and maybe some other kind sure. of prop bet decisions. Is this going to be a Lamar game or a Derrick Henry game tonight for the Ravens? Oh, I think it's Lamar. Uh, again, I, we talked about it on the film wall. I mean, this, this offense, as it should be, is really centered around him. And I, I agree with you, Rex. I, I just think here early in the season we have this tendency to overreact to things. And the Bills blew out the Jags on Monday Night Football and we just all of a sudden crown them, right? We've crowned Josh Allen MVP. And don't get me wrong, I love, I love Josh Allen, and I love the Bills. But I agree with you. Listen, they were a toenail away from beating the Chiefs at the Chiefs. They blew a 10-point lead. And I think they've learned from those things. This is a complete football team. This is still is. the team from last year that went to the AFC Championship game. Again, I, I, I think the Bills are in for a, a dogfight tonight. Yeah, and I'm not, a, I'm not about fantasy or any prop bets or anything like that. It can, it can be both. I mean, but Derrick Henry is going to get his today. But in the end, what it's going to be is Lamar. What it has to be is Lamar. And I think, man, I hardly ever, I don't think I've ever said this in any of my analysis in my 16 years here. These are two players that sometimes defense doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, because <laughs> you can have the perfect down, Moss. Everything's set up. We got our coverage set up, our rush is set up, but it's all about Josh and it's all about Lamar and they're taking off and creating or they're taking off and running. That's what this game is going to be about is what kind of timing they have about when when I'm choosing when to take over, and they'll eventually do it, but who does it better, Josh or Lamar? Right, I, think I, 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 I know. I, I know. I feel like some. throwing up in Did my mouth right say now. I know. Defense doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Stop! Oh, hey, I mean, hey, Bruce. Shh. We made a lot of money in this league. <laughs> Shut up, please. These guys Don't are so say good. They're right, just so defense, good. Of Here's the real not. question. Damn. All right, the Ravens could easily have won. All three of the games they've played this year, they blow more double-digit leads in the fourth quarter than any team. They actually are minus 22 in fourth quarters this year. Only the Titans are worse. So, if they're in a fourth quarter tonight with the Bills and they have a double-digit lead, what do the Ravens need to do? It's obvious. Keep their foot on the gas, Greeny. That's one thing you heard Lamar Jackson soundbite last week with the Cowboys. And for me, it's, I think this game is more about Lamar Jackson than it is Josh Allen and the reason why. Because I think that when you look at Josh Allen, what he's able to do, and Alex, I would have to disagree with you that Monday night performance, man coverage, got, you can't help but what Jacksonville, the, the defense, the, the, the defense that they were playing, excuse me, but the guys that were wide open, what do you want us to do as a receiver? Catch the ball and get open. Yep. That's what the Buffalo Bills were doing. The problem I got going in tonight's game, Greeny, is the big third down situation. Mm. Third and short. They get that Baltimore Ravens, third medium and third long. If the Buffalo Bills are able to get the, the Baltimore Ravens in some long down and distance on the third down, I want to see how accurate Lamar Jackson is going to be because we know about Josh. We know like Patrick Mahomes. But to order for, in order for him to elevate to that next MVP postseason level, mm -hmm. he has to be a little uh, better accurate on third down. Uh, let me, just, let me just say a little bit about Josh Allen and what's going on with him as a quarterback because watching him last week and then now starting to watch him this year, this everybody eats thing, it's, it's not just a weekly thing. I mean, it's not Darlington's right. It's not a shot at digs or anything like that. This is the progression of a quarterback that ends up becoming great, that ends up becoming in the Mahomes type of conversation that I don't need Stephon Diggs because I'm now almost developed intellectually enough where I can spread it out and I know what I'm seeing and I have the arm talent and the ability to, to spread this around. It doesn't matter who's out there doing it. Just get open and I'll get it to you. And that's what this Josh is, Josh is becoming to me. I mean, it's special. I mean, I think it's way too early. We're talking MVP conversation, but this guy is becoming one of the great ones. And